Hello people, in this video I would be showing you how to obtain the state model equation from the differential equation given below. Let us consider the differential equation d cube y by dt cube plus 6 d square y by dt square plus 11 dy by dt plus 6 y equals 5 u1 plus 10 u2. Now let us start by writing the procedure that is let us represent y as x1 okay then y dot which represents the dy by dt as x1 dot which represents x2 y double dot which is d square y by dt square as x1 double dot that gives x2 dot that gives x3 now y triple dot can be written as x1 triple dot which can be written as x2 double dot which can be written as x3 single dot. Now using these let us modify the given expression. I know that y triple dash or y triple dot represents d cube y by dt cube. So in the expression given above I would be replacing it by x3 dot. Okay. So, if I replace it by x3 dot plus 6, this is represented by x3, 6x3 6 plus 11, y dot is represented by x2 plus 6x1 is equated to 5u1 plus 10u2 which remains as it is. Now, the x3 dot expression is minus 6x3 minus 11x2 minus 6x1 plus 5u1 plus 10u2. Once this is done, I would be taking the state model expression. I know that the standard form of the state model expression is x1 dot, x2 dot, and x3 dot. This is equated to a matrix which is 3 cross 3. How do I know it is 3 cross 3? Because I have obtained up to x3. So that means there are three state variables hence the matrix is 3 cross 3 which is multiplied by x1, x2 and x3 plus another matrix which is multiplied by the inputs u1 and u2. Now, for the expression whichever I have obtained, that is for x3 dot, I would be writing the lowest column for it. So that when I multiply, I would be getting the expression for it. Now, x3 is multiplied by minus 6, so therefore, third row third column element will be minus 6 third row second column element will be minus 11 that is over here third row first column element will be minus 6 so that when I perform the matrix multiplication I would be getting this expression back now x3 dot is having the inputs u1 and u2 so therefore I know that you, when I multiply u1 with this matrix I have to get it as 5 u1 so therefore I write 5 over here that is in the third row first column and in the third row second column I write 10 because here 10 is there once I am done with this I observe that x2 dot which is here is related to x3 with a coefficient 1 so therefore I write 1 here and zeros here but since here it does not have any inputs I write 0 0 similarly here as well now I observe that x1 dot is related to x2 so I write 1 over here because it has coefficient 1 so I write 0 over here and this is how the state model equation is obtained for the given differential equation Thank you for watching the video. Hope you have liked it. Please press the like button and also subscribe to the channel for 
such informative videos. Thank you.